Hello students in this lecture we are going to design cantilever slab or chhajja Numerical is design a cantilever slab for an overhang of 1.2 meter the imposed load on slab consists of 1 kN per meter square of live load and weight of finishing is 800 N per meter square use m20 concrete and fe415 steel now given is l equals to 1.20 meter imposed load equals to 1000 N per meter square plus 800 newton per meter square therefore total imposed load equals to 1800 newton per meter square fck equals to 20 newton per mm square and fy equals to 415 newton per mm square assuming capital d equals to 150 mm it is overall depth now we will calculate small d equals to capital d minus clear cover minus 5i 2 here we had assumed diameter of bar as 8 mm on putting the values in this formula we will get 150 minus 20 minus 4 it equals to 125 126 mm and, and uh, approximately it will be 125 mm effective span equals to l plus d effective by 2 here l is 1.2 and d effective equals to 0.125 we will get 1.26 meter now moving toward next step design load and factored moment calculation for this first of all we will calculate self weight of slab equals to 0.15 into 1 into 25000 newton per meter cube we will get 3750 newton per meter now we will calculate imposed load equals to 1800 into 1 we will get 8 1500 newton per meter now total load will be w equals to 3750 newton per meter plus 1800 newton per meter we will get 5550 newton per meter now we will calculate factored load for this w into 1.1 1.5 we will get 350 into 1.5 equals to w equals to 8325 newton per meter now for cantilever slab factored moment equals to mu equals to w l effective square divided by 2 on putting the value in this formula we will get 8325 into 1.26 square divided by 2 mu equals to 6608 newton meter now converting this value in newton mm we will get 6.608 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm factored shear force for cantilever slab vu equals to W U into L effective. On putting the value, we will get eight three two five into one point two six equals to one zero four eight nine point five newton. Now moving toward next step, minimum effective depth required equals to X U max by D equals to zero point four eight. This value is taken from IS four five six two thousand page number seventy. Now, R U equals to zero point three six F C K X U max by D 
इन ब्रैकेट वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू एक्स यू मैक्स बाई डी ब्रैकेट क्लोज ऑन पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन दिस फॉर्मूला वी विल गेट आर यू इक्वल्स टू टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स नाउ डी रिक्वायर्ड मतलब डेप्थ ऑफ इफेक्टिव डेप्थ रिक्वायर्ड इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट ऑफ एम यू अपॉन आर यू इन टू बी पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एम यू from above step we will get 6.608 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 2.76 into 1000 equals to d required square then we will get d required equals to 49 mm which is less than d effective provided hence safe therefore the section is under reinforced section now moving toward next step calculation of area of steel ast for this we will use formula mu equals to 0.87 fy into ast into d in bracket 1 minus fy ast upon bd fck on putting the value in this formula we will get ast equals to 150 mm square this area of steel should be more than minimum area of reinforcement that is 0.12% of cross sectional area that is 0.12 into b into capital d divided by 100 we will get 180 mm square which is greater than 150 mm square hence provide ast equals to 180 mm square using 8 mm dia bar small ast equals to pi by 4 into 8 square we will get 50.3 mm square now spacing of 8 mm bar equals to 1000 into small ast upon capital ast on putting the value we will get 1000 into 50.3 divided by 180 we will get 279 mm nearly 270 mm maximum spacing is limited to first 3d here 3d is 3 into 125 we will get 300 375 mm and second condition is 300 mm therefore provide 8 mm dia bar at the rate 270 mm center to center as main steel also providing 8 mm dia bar at the rate 270 mm center to center in other direction also as distribution reinforcement now moving toward next step check for shear formula used is from is code 456 page number 72 here shear force we had calculated earlier factored shear force vu equals to 1489.5 newton for this ast provided equals to 1000 into 50.3 divided by 270 equals to 186.3 mm square nominal shear stress tau v equals to vu upon dd we will get 0.08 newton per mm square now design shear strength of concrete tau c for this first of all we will calculated percentage of reinforcement pt equals to 100 into capital AST upon BD. On putting the value, we will get 0.15 percentage. 
for pt equals to 0.15 percentage and m20 grade concrete from is code 456 page number 73 using table number 19 we will get tau c equals to 0.28 newton per mm square and k equals to 1.3 now on putting value k into tau c equals to 1.3 into 0.28 we will get 0.36 newton per mm square which is greater than tau v hence safe now checking for development length from is code 456 2000 page number 42 clause number 26.2.1 the code requires that the reinforcement must extend at least ld into support therefore ld equals to 0.87 f by 5 divided by 4 tau bd here phi equals to 8 mm now on putting all values in this formula we will get ld equals to 376 mm for this tau bd is taken value 1.6 into 1.2 from page number 43 table number 26.2 percentage therefore extending the bar into the support after giving a 90 degree bend for a distance 390 mm now reinforcement detailing from the reinforcement detailing of chhajja the overall depth of chhajja is 150 mm having 8 meter dia bar 8 mm dia bar as main reinforcement as well as distribution reinforcement and spacing of 270 mm center to center having development length of 390 mm with a 90 degree bend at the support thank you